So since we don't have the ability to tear into primaries and multiplayer or now in combat zone, I figured that I would just do some research on pistols by myself. Because no one else has been doing that, I don't think at least. So let me just get straight to the point. Four of these pistols are obsolete. They are practically useless unless you want to use them for whatever reason. The X5, the P18, the 1911, and the 1911 Compact are all just not good compared to the G18 and the Desert Eagle, and I'll get to those later on. But the reason those four pistols are obsolete is because they do not have fully auto builds like the G18 and the Desert Eagle do. So I guess technically the semi-auto versions of the Desert Eagle and the G18 are also obsolete. One of those builds is pain if you are there early though. So there is kind of a disadvantage there. <laughs> So, you are probably wondering, how do I get these builds without getting the Desert Eagle and the G18 to level 80? Well, unfortunately, the Desert Eagle's Hawk TI4 auto build is paid, but if you go to the store and check the Wolverine bundle, there is the Infernal Desert Eagle blueprint in there, and it does have the Hawk TI4 auto build. Now, for the G18's Millie Mart Alpha auto build, you can either get to level 43 or look in the store and look at the Ruby store bundle, and there will be a blueprint called the G18 Tracer and that will have the Million Mart Alpha Auto Bill for the G18. Now let's look at some stats for the full auto G18 versus the full auto Desert Eagle. For this testing, I only equipped the full auto bills on both of these pistols to get the most raw and accurate stats as possible. Both of these pistols with their full auto builds were also tested in multiplayer, just an FYI. For the G18 with the Million Mart Alpha Auto Build, it has a max body shot of 36, a max headshot damage of 51, and it has a base mag size of 15. It takes 3 shots to kill someone when shooting at the body, and it has a time to kill of approximately 12 milliseconds. For the Desert Eagle, it has a max body shot of 79 damage, a max headshot damage of 300, and it has a base mag size of 7. It takes two shots to kill someone shooting at the body, and it's time to kill is approximately 7 milliseconds. I'm saying approximately because I'm not exactly sure on those times, but I'm pretty sure they are right. So yeah, the Desert Eagle is basically half of the time to kill as the G18, so if you are accurate, then I would recommend using that, because that, that is just nuts. <laughs> If you're less accurate and want a higher mag size, then I would definitely go with the G18 because I'm pretty sure you can put a 50 round mag on the G18, so that way if you miss any shots, it's gonna be pretty generous. Overall, which do I think is a better pistol? Me, personally, I think the Desert Eagle is better. I can see why some people might think the G18 is better, but just overall, I think the Desert Eagle is better because of the time to kill and the shots to kill. And it's also a one tap headshot in multiplayer. And uh, let me know if you would want me to make more of these kinds of videos because this was personally pretty enjoyable. And also let me know what I should compare in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy the gameplays. Alright, no face cam? But we got the Desert Eagle here. Uh, hopefully I can get something decent, at least. Because I'm honestly tired of trying to go for this. I tried to get a gameplay with the G18, but I just cannot use that thing for the life of me, for some reason. Uh, I, I have no idea why. For some reason I can't use it. Maybe it's my build, maybe it's a skill issue, maybe it's the lag that I've been experiencing, like right now. All I know is that I'm doing a lot better with the, uh, the Beagle right now. So I, I, I might not talk a lot during this, but I, I'm, I'm just trying to walk in and get a good gameplay. Okay, I got a minigun. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Alright, minigun. No! What? Oh, I, the frack! Kill him! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
like, oh my god. And there's no zip lines. This is, um, this is kind of unfortunate. Why are you here? Guess this? Okay, we're not. Guess this? Nice. Guess this? Or not. I'll take it. Hey, I mean, I did say that the Deagle was better than the G18, and I, I guess that just shows why it is. Uh, didn't drop a nuke, unfortunately, but that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment what guns you want me to test and compare in the comments, and if you like this style of video, I personally really like it, even though the gameplay was kind of frustrating to go for. Either way, still enjoying it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe!